Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah hadana ni hadina wa akunu ma nahdi laun hadana Allah wa man tawfi wa itama ila Allah alayhi wa tawakkal wa alayhi al-unib wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la wa nadheela la wa la mathila la shahadatan mawsulatan illa dahl al-qarar wa nashadu anna Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadan abduhu wa habibahu wa rasuluhu wa sallallahu ta'ala rahmatan lil alameen. Praise be to Allah who has guided us this day, a immense joy and blessing. And we would have never found guidance if Allah had not guided us. Our success in life and in the hereafter can only come from Allah We don't rely on anyone but Allah and unto Allah we put our faith and our trust. And I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and in His unique oneness Allah has no partner, there is no likeness unto Allah These are testimonies of faith that are eternal and they bear witness from today to the day of resurrection. And I bear witness that our master and our leader is Sayyidina Muhammad and is Allah's beloved servant. His Messenger whom Allah has sent as a mercy to all creation. Alhamdulillah that Allah gave us this life, this good life and blessed life to see the holy month of Ramadan and alhamdulillah gave us the ability to fast its days and pray its nights. And this is a immense sign for this creation of how much Allah loves Sayyidina Muhammad Shows the immensity of the deen in a world in which nobody forsakes anything for anyone and a world in which everyone follows their own desires and whatever they want and comes a nation a heavenly nation that represents the kingdom of Allah on earth. And when the kingdom calls them to come and fast one month, 30 days, abstain from food and water for the sake of your Lord in which you have not seen, for the sake of all the paradises in which you have not seen, for the sake of the honour of your beloved Messenger that you have not seen and a nation that heard the call and they obeyed and came to the call of Allah This is an immense sign for those who have eyes and don't have eyes, they look and say, what a nation is this that can abstain for anything, more or less one day, two day, thirty days of controlling themselves from eating and drinking. All for the grace of Allah Almighty and for His heavenly kingdom and for the orders that He has given. And Allah what we recited that there is no guidance and no way to be guided here and hereafter <coughs> if not by Allah <coughs> Only by the grace of Allah that this light comes into the heart of this creation so that they follow. And they don't follow their desires, they don't follow their shaitans and they try the best to their ability based on their limitations and health and whatever their issues are but they try their best to complete what Allah has asked of them. And Allah's might and support enters into their hearts so that He can make the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad shine. So that in the heavens all the other prophets are looking and astonished how your nation still kept their fasting. The most difficult that has been asked of them kept their struggling against themselves. Look how other nations were all ordered to fast, they changed their fast then they made it well we'll sacrifice maybe chocolate for a day or for a week and they modified everything. And they, they brought in modifications and they left the heavenly religions. 
This is again to the azimat and the greatness Allah wants to show how much He loves Sayyidina Muhammad that whatever Prophet is involved in it shines like lights of paradise, his nation shines like lights of paradises, their amal shines like lights of paradises. We pray that Allah to always guide us and to bless us, ourselves, our families, our children, our loved ones, our communities that keep us under your guidance Ya Rabbul Izza and keep us under the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and under the intercession and nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad under the love of his holy companions that their nazar, the Ahlul Badr to have their nazar and their gaze upon us, the Ahlul Bayt to have their nazar and their gaze upon us and all the awliyaullah fi samahi wa fil ard, known unknown Ya Rabbi that their nazar be upon us, our families, our children and our community, that we're Ahlul Muhabbat and the people of love and that their nazar and support Ya Rabbi to dress us, bless us and take every difficulty away from us and every light to be granted to us. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Wherever people are in difficulty and suffering Ya Rabbi grant them an ease. Wherever people are in sicknesses and calamities that Allah grant them an ease and grant your lights and your blessings upon the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad Take away difficulties from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and return the glory of Islam into the hearts of the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad InshaAllah that Allah grant us a life in which to see the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam. Sayyidina Isa salam upon this earth and that the heaven, the kingdom of the heavens that enter upon this earth and Allah grant us that honour to witness that kingdom's arrival and that kingdom sultanate upon this earth inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafati ala Surah Kareem, think that all those who been participating and making this such a special Ramadan that in a world that everybody is locked up and in their homes had an immense blessing. That with that Allah opened immense realities that as soon as you isolate and you find that maybe the places we were going, the faces that we were seeing. The associations that people were attending were of no benefit and Allah guide many people to the associations of zikrs to watch the live broadcast and the immensity of the power of the zikrs, the nasheeds and all the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that just by headphones and closing your eyes listening to nasheeds your soul is in that association and that association in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and gives so many lights and so many reliefs and so many blessings that through every difficulty Allah has a door and an opening. Ya Wahab, Ya Wahab, Ya Wahab, Ya Musabibun Asbab, Ya Mufatiha Abwaab. Means that for every difficulty Allah has a door that it's meant to go through. It's not just a difficulty that when Allah sent a difficulty upon the earth He provided the door of these associations. And those whom have been training and practicing for that door to be ready, that their media is ready, their cameras are ready, their teachings are ready, their professionalism is ready and many people coming through those doors and those associations. That when Allah looks the, the room there's always something that has to open, it's not just a, a box of difficulty. And alhamdulillah many people have found that opening that they sat, they came, they attended and the immensity of what they've been taught, the familiarity and alhamdulillah a blessed Ramadan that all the people logging in and every week, three times a week everybody being familiar like a family, logging in, asking questions, getting to be known, emailing. So alhamdulillah it made a, the world to be like a little group 
that didn't matter from what part of the earth, we have from South Africa, we have from Russia, we have from the UK, we have from every city on this earth somebody's been logging in. People have been supporting, people commenting, people emailing and shows you that no matter how far everything is, we can all be very close as if we're in just one room together in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad May Allah give us more and more ability to reach, more and more himma for our gentlemen and people who are helping, supporting, volunteering, making all of these things to happen. Those whom are supporting, making it to happen, that Allah dress you, bless you, take every difficulty away from you and that grant us to keep our associations continuously together and that to feel our familiarity and that nobody to feel alone. You put your headphones on, close your eyes and come into the room and that association of zikr and that association in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that he's blessed so to draw the souls back into their origin, back into their realities. So alhamdulillah with every difficulty Allah has an opening and those whom are fortunate enough to find and feel that opening they know what we're talking about, they sensed what we're talking about. And so alhamdulillah we wanted to thank everybody for uh, making the wonderful Ramadan to be so wonderful that the blessed Ramadan to have such a feeling of, of unity and community and everybody communicating, seeing the same people logging in, new people logging in, all the comments on the videos and, and the whole familiarity and encouraging our gentlemen who are sacrificing and trying to put the productions together, running the centers, attending the zikrs makes everybody feel good that everybody's involved, people are enjoying it. And so alhamdulillah wanted to thank everybody that Eid Mubarak uh, to wherever you are and that Allah dress you, bless you, take every type of difficulty away. And the lights that Allah want to bestow upon the souls, people were emailing sadness like crying that I felt so much light. I'm just scared that shaitan will take it all away when Ramadan is finished and the devils start to come out again. And alhamdulillah from Mawlana Shaykh's teaching, no, because Allah takes those, those treasures and He puts that aside for Yawm al mashar He doesn't allow those treasures to be touched by shaitan. These treasures that Allah wants to bestow upon the soul, those are deposited within a trust. Just like any, any family they would give their child not the everything and say, here go ruin it and do whatever you want with it, it has to be entrusted. And Allah would take these tajallis and Prophet would take his du'as and tajallis and whatever he wants to bestow upon the nation and these lovers and put that in trust for them for the day that they need it. And day when Yawm al Mashar when people are in difficulty and all these medallions will be bestowed upon the souls of these lovers and astonished in what weight, what light in which the angels have not seen these lights and these blessings. That's the day that's important in which Allah dress that I have put aside for you these immense treasures of what you have gained from all of these experiences. So alhamdulillah that Allah safeguard all these treasures, all these lights and all these emanations and for people to have no fear inshaAllah that Allah keep these and, and keep these precious gifts and precious lights for us in the day that we need them most inshaAllah. We'll do some of some nasheeds inshaAllah, we'll do some nasheeds now and uh, do some celebrations for Eid inshaAllah. Ummati Muhammad Mustafa Basira Surat Al-Fatiha Click the link now to subscribe.